It's me again. Today, I'm going to be covering something that's entirely different, but anyway, I'm going to be covering music. So, in the beginning, during, during let's say, like the 1930s and 40s, music used to tell stories, but now it's just like, hey, oh, howdy doody, fellow kiddies. Look, I love music that tells stories, okay? That's what music's all about. Not, not about how much you're a tough guy you are. It's about how much emotion you can put into music that actually gets you there. I don't care about the fame or success or anything. Just tell, make me a song that tells a decent fucking story, for Christ's sake. That's the same thing with the gaming industry. They'd rather do a half-assed game rather than actually tell a full-blown story with no deals. With no DLC entirely. Look, I love games that love... That, ha that has a story and no D DLC required. Why the fuck do they need DLC for? That's just another way to placate the people into thinking that you can give them extra money. Pure fucking bullshit. Look, I, look as far as music-wise, I'm an old-school music guy. You know what I mean? I remember hear hearing old-fashioned radio back during, back during when my grandma and grandpa were still alive. But now it's just like, hey, how do you do these? It's just like, hey, go, hey, guys, heard you like chugging, so we, so we chugged around your chugging. Oh. Fucking hipsters, is what I call them. Look, I'm an old school country music guy. I'm an old school music guy, like I said previously. Look, I don't care about. About how bad the relationship was. Just tell me. Just write a decent song. And tell me a good fucking story. For for Christ's sake. No existential crisis. No whining about. Oh how. Oh hey how. Orange man bad fellow kitties. Why do you think so many people. are declaring bankruptcy. Against the music industry entirely. Because right now. The industry. is the very same thing. With the justice system. And the military system. Corrupt. And only cares about. One thing. Right now, people, the employees get half a paycheck, and don't get and don't get a full paycheck. You know what I mean? Back then, back in the days in the fifties, everything was dirt cheap. Gas was dirt cheap, but now gas is like a almost two dollars and something. It's fucking ridiculous. I think the I think people, I think people who did that just only did raise the prices so they can get more money in their pocket. Exactly. So. It's just pure fucking bullshit. And don't give me that, oh, we're out for extra money. Oh, I will have no more money. I need to feed my entire brat. So I won't even, and spank her so I make pedophilic stares at her all the time. It's just pathetic how our society is. Don't be hipster kitties. Stay true to your morals. Stay true to your ideals. Cheers. Look, as far as camping wise, growing up, growing up, I was a Boy Scout for once. Yes, yeah, so you can think about the stereotypical, oh, tie the knot, do this, you know, make a fire and shit like that. I was pretty good at archery one time. I missed a couple times until that final arrow came down. And the people who... Th and this is for people around here who assume that I'm fat. Of course, I admit it, I'm overweight. But I ain't gonna let that define me as a person. I'm actually getting out there and working out again, finally. After a year or two away from working out. Because right now... Because there's a lot of shit going on in my family that... Is basically like a Young of the Restless meets DC Comics, basically. I'm always showing my head since YouTube can't handle a decent amount of nudity for once. <sighs> Finally, I get good camera quality though. If I can convince my mom that she'll let me have this big old Slavonia speaker. I know she had it for years. And then I'll let her have mine. So yeah. 
this bigger one, bigger one, you can hear it. it, makes a whole lot more noise if you crank it up real loud. Now, I don't hear very well, but I know a good, but I know when a rat's nearby when I hear them. Look, gang, I'm basically running out of ideas, basically. So I figured this would be a video that, would, for me, myself, would take a break from, you know, instead of reacting to the same shit over and over again. But I'm actually branching out musically. Because me, I grew up listening to old pop music from the 50s or something. And look, I was born in 97, and trust me, I ain't that old. I'm 22. Next year, I'll be Michael Jordan's number 23. I mean, I consider getting, becoming 23 is just another day closer to death. But when I hit 23, I basically just want to celebrate. Depending on my family, basically, they don't know what a decent good, good amount of food is. Oh, I don't like Chinese. No, I don't like that. Quit being so fucking picky. Why do you think it's so food? Why do you think food is so hard to find? Find the people would stop would stop being so damn picky. Oh, I don't want to eat eat meat, love, Dad. That's like for hot deer hunters. Well, if you eat it, you'll love it. You dumbass. <sighs> this is why I'll. Ne this is why me and Sarah decided on not having children. Now, this may sound blasphemy to y'all, but. Sarah told me herself when we were still back in high school that she didn't want any children. That's what she said to me. All me and her need is a bunch of animals and then we're in an old house. Then we're good. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Sarah's going to be like the crazy cat lady. Well, she's my crazy cat woman. Meow. <laughs> Remember that crazy cat woman from The Simpsons? She dressed up as Catwoman. Then after she took the costume off, she's like, Meow, meow! All that crazy cat woman did was make a bunch of noises. Sorry, our Mexicano neighbors. Look, I'm not saying this to be racist, but Mexicans, they'll celebrate anything. The quinceañera, the single de mile. Me, as far as Mexico wise, well, they still back in the 1800s they did have the banditos, not the biker gang. The banditos they were a re they were the real cowboys of Mexico. It's sad how Mexico went from a prospering country to a shithole, all because you let a bunch of socialists take over, basically. Look, I'm basically trying out different things, you know. I mean, sure, I go outside and show my face from time to time, but I do that when I run out of ideas, basically. Honestly, by this point, I'm just burned out, to say the least. And sure, I do take breaks from YouTube from time to time, but... I know people like y'all are demanding more content from me, so... You're going to have to give me some patience. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe. Follow me on me on TikTok. I'll see you next video then.